another beautiful day here in Arizona it is gorgeous outside today and we are doing pot buys today so I'm not sure what time that's gonna happen at but it'll happen at some point Alyssa's in bed she's got morning sickness really bad really hope that subsides soon because she's in the second trimester so so I'm at the gas station a drink and this is the second time that this has happened to me in uh, uh, at least a month I'll turn that off so you can hear me can you hear me better now this has happened to me in a month I'm here at the corner store getting a beverage and I go up to pay for it and the lady says don't worry about it it's on me what like I mean I know it's just a like little drink it's the little things in life that matter. And that is one of the little things that's just kind of cool that that's happened to me twice in the last month. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! What are we doing out here, Mia? Mia, today we are shooting some footage of some time lapses. There's the rig over there, and uh, yeah, Mia is my sidekick because Alyssa is still sleeping. But uh, yeah, so we're getting it done today. Are you now back home to see what Alyssa is doing. Hopefully she's awake and we'll get the day. It's the last box of mac and cheese. Dun dun dun. That is like a sin in this house. Insert. Turn away. Sad transcendo music. Here. Now. Time to go out, check on the chicken. Let that cook for a little bit longer. So that you don't have to have 20% uh, to put down on your house. I was reading last night an article in Keeping Current Matters and basically just said that there's two buyer myths. The first one is that you don't have to have a 20% down payment. There are some programs out there that allow as little as 3% down. With that, also goes the credit score. The second myth that buyers believe is that you have to have a 780 credit score. That's not true. There are programs that allow a lower credit score along with a lower down payment. So home buying is absolutely a possibility for you. So, and if you don't know out to as far as the lender goes call me because I can connect you the first step in buying a home is absolutely getting a hold of a lender and starting that pre-qualification process so and by getting pre-qualified you're gonna know exactly where your credit is at you're gonna find out how much you need to put down and also what your monthly payment will be and what you are comfortable paying monthly. If you're renting right now, you're gonna have to pay anyway, so you may as well stop putting money in your landlord's pocket. Money talks. Here comes the money. And start investing in your future. So let's get you pre-qualified and on the path to home ownership. Oh, and don't forget to call me, okay? We have to put up this gate. For me, Amu. Because she will come. She doesn't like to do the dishes. <laughs> she just likes to be in the dishes. Stinker! Ah, she's you. coming in hot. I see you. Coming in hot. Stinker! The, coming in hot for the dishes. Say hi, Daddy. Uh -huh. 
stinker. On the bottom. You got Say. a toothy nail? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fresh to table. <laughs> We're having a rough time right now. Mia's hungry. <laughs> yeah, I have to bubble.